Hey guys, what's up? Thanks for tuning in. I am Laron, and today on our episode of Unplug Yourself, woo, we want to dive a little bit deeper than usual. Um, yeah, this is something that's a little controversial, I'm not going to lie. And I've been a little hesitant about really going about talking about this. I've been wanting to talk about this subject for weeks now, and you know, the wife has always been very supportive and is always kind of pushing me just to push the envelope because she's not scared to do that. If you check out our website, you can kind of see that. But, you know, really what we're about, guys, is we want to push the envelope because we, we feel like we're not getting answers. So we feel like we kind of got to go for them ourselves. Um, and I don't mean that in a sense of like uh, we have all the answers either. Um, I mean that this is a journey that we're trying to um, discover more about who we are as people, what we're doing on this planet, and um, if you're interested in that type of stuff, you came to the right place because, you know, we, we kind of weird people out. We just, we're, we're, we're really deep and um, I don't know, I just find it very interesting in what this all is. I mean, it, you have this piece of technology, which is your body that we walk around and we really just take it for granted. But at the end of the day, um, I, I really think that if you just take a second to number one, be grateful for what you have, even the problems that you have, be grateful for them because I'm starting to realize that everything happens for you. It doesn't happen to you, it happens for you. It's just that we gotta pay attention to what those indications are and why those maybe those problems that we're having that are coming into our life, why those problems are coming into our life, because the universe is a mirror, I promise you. If you really just take that into account, even just that little seed, and, and, and hopefully that plants something in your mind that, you know what, every problem that I've brought into my life has been of my creation, and every problem that you've brought into your life has been of your creation, and when you accept that responsibility, your life transforms. Um, but I've always had the question of, what are we? And um, that question can lead you down some interesting paths uh, when you do research. Everybody has their theories. Um, I don't even think anybody really has all the answers. However, I'm coming to, um, I guess, through the, the maze of research that I've done, I'm coming to a little bit of an understanding of what I think all this is and what we are. Um, now, this is the controversial part, and this is the part that, the reason why it's controversial, and let me back up, let me back up. The reason that I want to go into this is because we talk a lot about working out. We talk a lot about eating well. We talk a lot about spirituality, and if you check our website out, www.unplug-yourself.com, you'll see that we are all about mind, body, and soul and making that connection because without the three connected and well-balanced, you don't have the one. So um, that sounds prophetical, but uh, that's what we're about. You know, we're really about just trying to discover what we are as human beings. Here's where I want to go. So this is the part that is going to go against the grain of pretty much everything that we've been taught. And I... It's, is it possible, let me ask you this, is it possible that a long time ago that there was a system that was put in place that kind of deviated away from the true teachings about what we are? Is it possible that a system veered away from that and therefore decided to come up with kind of their own story of what all this is? And it starts with the story of being told that we only live one life. Um, I don't believe that. Um, I believe that we live many lives and we have lived many lives. Um, and I believe that there is a system that is, is beyond our comprehension as humans um, that it attributes to that and, and that we are a part of that Unfortunately, when we come to this side of the veil, we, we are not quite fully uh, in contact with, that, with that, that side of us because of what we've been taught. So, 
Is it possible that the system was put in place to maybe keep control of the masses? Um, I really don't want to skirt around it. I really just kind of want to get to it. But I know that I'm, I'm really pushing the envelope of what I'm saying. And uh, for a lot of people, this is going to sound blasphemous at, by the end of this. And they're going to be uh, incredibly offended. And our intent is not to offend. Our intent is to seek truth. And that's all it is. So if you are offended by anything that we say, we apologize. But at the end of the day, we're full of good intent. And we really just want to get to the bottom of what this all is. Because we feel like through awareness of what we are comes better control of the things that we form and create in our life. And I think that's very important because ultimately all of us are looking for the same thing. I don't care if you live in Ethiopia. I don't care if you live in the United States. I don't care if you live in China. It doesn't matter. We're all looking for the same thing and that's to be happy ultimately. Um, so through that and in order to get to that point, I think it's important that we discover what we are and our ability to create things in our life. With that being said, I'm going to ask you this. If you have kids, and I have a lot of friends who do, if you have kids, does it make sense that your kids carry your genetics of you and your significant other in them? I'm sure all of you are shaking your head yes in agreement. And have you heard the story that we are all of God's children? Or have you been told that we are all of God's children? I'm sure most of you are shaking your head. Even if you don't believe in God, which that's another discussion. And honestly, I, you're, I, I can't even go there because that's something else. I, God is real. I, you just got to move to the side on that. Anyway, with that being said, is it possible that if we are God's children, that there is a piece and a part of God in us as humans? And that's where I might have a lot of people stumped. Some of you might be shaking your head yes. Some of you might be disagreeing with that because I believe that God is our creator. And I believe that if that is the case, there is a piece and a part of God that is within us. Thus, the reason and the ability to create other humans. That's very godlike, isn't it? I mean, when you have a child, you created life. So, therefore, that's very, very godlike. And I don't want to sound blasphemous, but uh, you know what? This is something that we're just raising, we're really just raising questions on. I'm not saying that I know for a fact, but I do believe that there is a lot more to us than what we've been told. And if you were told that you lived many lives, uh, you might not behave the same way that you normally do because then you wouldn't be along the, uh, the whole thought process that there would only be one afterlife. And you know what, this information that, that was raised to me by a friend of mine, and um, you know, it's something that made me think deeper. It was a seed that was planted that made me think deeper. And to me, it makes sense that if we are God's children, that we are a piece and a part of God, without a doubt. Um, but that's just my belief, you know? And then I take the responsibility of everything that I've experienced and everything that I have uh, uh, in my life has been my creation, even my problems. Um, I think about the problems that I have had in my life and what was my state of mind like at that point in time? What was I thinking like? What was my self-talk like? Um, and, you know, at that time, it, my self-talk was very negative. So, therefore, I had negative things coming into my life. And this is kind of just the basic thing that we really kind of overshadowed that we create everything in our life once we take responsibility and stop playing that victim stuff you know we we really start to gain a sense of control in our life and a sense of balance 
but it does take time and I, I want you to understand that if you're going through this process similar to like uh, that that me and my wife are going through where we're awakening excuse me as I stutter as we're awakening to some some truths um, that there's more to us than what we've been told and you know this is uh, this is amazing to me I, I, I think that we should all be uh, maybe a little bit kind of uh, taken back by maybe some new information and maybe realizing that religion hasn't had all the answers, science hasn't had all the answers, they're still discovering. They've done a great job, but you know what? I think that we're relying on a lot of old information that needs to transform into some new questions that needs to, need to be raised, or really some of the same questions that I feel like are important. And one of the questions is, what are we and what, what are we here for? Because um, you know, when I think about the beauty of, 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 of who I am as a person, I think of the beauty of, of humanity, period. Like when I just look at people in general, look at everything around me, it's really kind of cool. And it, it has to be a deeper purpose behind all of this. I mean, I know it's not just to work a nine to five. Um, I, I, there, there's, a, there's something deeper to us and, and through, ev through evolution of time, I think we'll discover and find out more. But, you know, as of right now, I think the only thing I just wanted to, to really drop a seed on is the thought of, is it possible that we are a part of God? And does it make sense that that's how we have our ability to create things in our life? Thus, other human beings. Uh, I mean, it, I think that's, I, I don't know, I think that's super cool. Let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment below. Um, I would love it if you guys subscribe to my channel. I just got started on this whole journey. And, um, you know, we talk about some, like I said, some stuff that is going to be a little bit controversial, but it's all with good intent and it's all meant to empower you, to make you better as a person. It's made us better as people, you know, just by raising questions alone. And I think that if we start raising more questions, which I see, I see it daily, um, the, the evolution of human consciousness. I mean, even in the grocery stores, uh, I'm walking around and I'm seeing people turning the labels over and they're looking at the labels and they're, they're seeing, they're putting those chemically enhanced foods back on the shelf. And, and you know, it's great to see um, because we talk about that stuff and it, it makes me feel like we're actually making a difference. And that's all that we, we came here for is to try to make a difference and bring something back um, that we feel is important. Mind, body, soul. That's all we're about. www.unplug-yourself.com. If you're interested in this type of stuff and you're on this journey to awakening and to a knowing, uh, a knowing that there is more to us than what we've been told, then please leave a comment below. Check out the website. Check out the blog. We got a lot of good content coming to you guys here in the near future, and it's only going to get better. One love.